how's it guys Justin here um, okay good news I got my RC four-wheel drive uh, 2016 December mystery box 2 um, it's the $250 box uh, estimated contents are like $400 or something like that it's supposed to be um, okay I'm gonna have two parts of the video uh, I'm gonna do the un unboxing side of it and then at the end of the video I'm gonna I might do like a I don't want to say a rant um, more uh, advice to other South African guys especially like down in Durban side that want to um, you know get these boxes in future and um, just the just my experience with it now I mean I ordered it on the first it arrived now the 20th and I had to go fetch it from the the main depot in town um, or else the couriers were going to take another two days to get it to me so it's and, and I paid the $25 shipping the real express shipping um, so yeah I'm going to do that at the end of the video um, for now we are waiting for Selena to finish work um, then we can go home and I can unbox this because believe me I've got my knife it's it's here it's here it's with me um, it's it's ready all I want to do is just cheat and then find out what I have but I'm not allowed to do that yet she said I have to wait until I get home before I can open my toys and play with them um, just a, a, a quick fact before we start I know the box is supposed to be valued at $400 contents I worked it out I need at least $300 worth of contents inside it to make it worth my while uh, $310 because that's the total value that I've paid for the package, the shipping, including the, cu the customs um, tax in South Africa. So my whole total over here is $310. So I need at least that amount of stuff out of there. Then I know I'm, I've done a good deal. If I don't, well, you know, then it's it's me down. But maybe on the next box I'll get a bigger package. Bigger package. Haha. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So I'll see you guys as soon as I get home. And I'm pausing now. Okay. Back home now. Uh, there might be a bit of a fuck up with the mic because I'm doing this from my phone. I don't know where the tripod is, so Celine's gonna hold the camera over there. Um, okay, like I said, I need $310 worth of value. Wait, what is it? See, some people say pull the knife towards you, other people say no, 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 you keep the knife away from you. If you can get a knife in. So, Either way, if you've got a sharp knife, it doesn't make much of a difference, eh? Okay, let's do this. Uh, one more thing, uh, shout out to Cameron, Cameron was his name who actually found me on Facebook and we were talking about the Tamiya Amarox and then he copied a link in the Facebook chat to one of my videos so big up to you Cameron thank you much uh, okay first off we've got some high quality paper um, it, it's, it's really good This is what I was hoping for. Got the brand new RC four wheel drive, the winch. So the 110 scale, so that's bonus that. So that's definitely going to be used. Um, now, I've got the spare wheel cover for the Land Rover Defenders. That's cool. I am wanting to get a, a D110, so. This will probably I'll keep this for the D10 for the D110 or the D90, but I like the the extended cab version, so I'll go for the D110. So definitely going to keep that piece. Um, these is what I thought I would get. Yes. So, these are the Mud Slingers 2.2s, and that is a full set of 2.2s. I've got two of those. Both mud slinger, RC four wheel drive, 2.2. It's actually quite bigger. Look at those things. 
huge. Jeez. Okay, these I'm not going to use, so this will probably go onto Facebook or something. Um, I'm not going to keep these. I don't use them, I don't have a, a need for them, but let's have a look at what these look like. Obviously, we all know we get the 2.2s, you get a set of 1.9s. Um, what have we got here? Little stickers on the tires. These are the RC4 wheel drive fuel off road mud gripper 1.9 tires. 1.9s is what I'm using on the Amarok, but well, this is not going to help me much. It's supposed to be an off road off road mud gripper. I'm going to keep the tires, so that's why I'll open up the packet because I'll keep these on nice. See the, the tread there. You can see that they're very thin, eh? Not as bulky as what I thought. So I'm gonna do some research on these because I haven't seen these ones um, on the off-road truck. So maybe it goes on the Landy. I don't know. I think the Landy's ones are a bit narrower. Okay, I'm gonna keep these anyway. So keep these, investigate them, see how I can use them. Um, Oh, okay, I saw this on the other one as well. Um, the little chest, uh, wooden shipping case. I am going to use this, so bonus. I like this. I like my 110 scale items. Um, we'll do some something with that. We've got the K44 heavy duty straight axle shaft, rear axle. Um, okay, I don't have a use for these, but let me put on Facebook, maybe see if someone else has a use for them. I see there's a couple of parts that I might not have a use for. Um, okay, so that we'll have to have a look, see if we can find it in your home. It's a high performance LED light bar, nice. Um, this is definitely going on the Amarok, uh, so that's a keeper, definitely a keeper. I wanted to get one of those for a while. Um, I got a hydraulic T fitting M3 hydraulic T fitting. So I'm just gonna have to check where that actually goes on. Mm. I have no idea. JD model. Yeah, JD model. <laughs> Not JDT. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Ooh. Uh, scale sand ladder. So that's cool. Only one. Oh, that's yeah, that's one. Oh, is it two? Like two oh, yeah, there's two. Okay, well, I'm definitely using these, so definitely needing a set of this. Um, fold the knife, always fold the knife. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Yeah, and it's just a reflective coating on there. So, we just take this uh, protective coating, so take the coating off. Nice and shiny. Nice. Definitely going to use these. Put them on that side rack. Um, or we might not have to because I uh, have got glass. Uh, I've got lots of little things here. Lots of little things. Tell me you got a car. No, I didn't get a car. Oh. Uh, okay, the limited edition, um, <laughs> a gold hook. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cool. I'm going to use that. I would have preferred a black one or a red one, but gold works um bonus on that one i like that that's gonna go out with the new winch basically i've got a winch on the amarok already so i'm gonna take the three racing winch off put it at the back put the worn winch in the front so it's got a, a dual winch setup um a set of m4 flange lock nut black designed by rc four wheel drive part number is there um, I'll probably take the the silver ones I got on the Amarok off. I wonder if they'll fit. It'll look nicer because those are black rims there. Um, uh, yeah, I got these two beauties. I got the LED light kit. Um, I was looking at doing LEDs. 
uh, in this one. Then I thought, ah, uh, I was umming and eyeing about it. So what I might do is keep this kit for my defender. Um, so when I get that thing going up, it's the but it's the for the cruiser body sets LED basic lighting system for cruiser body set. Maybe I should just go. For, this is like a sign, eh? Go for the cruiser. I don't want the cruiser. It's either the defender or the trail finder. Um, okay, bonus. So I'll keep those. That I'll keep around. Then I got the uh, Monster Hook Forge M4 Hitch Hook with latch. This is nice. This I'm gonna keep. This I'm gonna keep. Let's open this. It's actually pretty much all the same stuff from the other guy's video that we saw. So I actually thought there would be like a variety. Well, there's not really a variety. Um, I ripped all the stickers. So the stickers are cool looking stickers. Yeah, monster stickers. Ah, oh, shit, there's more. Put it onto the van. Put it onto the Emerald. Um, so this is actually quite nice. I really like this. This all fits. Look at that. Nice big bad boy. Hook it up to your rear. Someone can pull you out, so I can even hit it. Uh, yeah, and I'll put it on the rear because the front bumpers on Amarok already have hitch points. So I hit this at the back. That's quite nice. Okay, definitely going to keep that. Uh, do, do, do. Thanks. Then, I've got the Universal sticker set. Oh, did someone seriously send me a message? Okay, this is the Universal sticker set. Um, basically, it's just for anything, I guess. Um, I am going to keep this. I will definitely make use out of this one. Um, I actually think I'm going to put one of these RC four-wheel drives on my van. The real-life one. Maybe that one there. It looks nice. Um, so, yeah. Nice. Okay, some stickers. That'll do. So basically the only thing I'm selling so far, or that I'm going to try to find a new home for, are the 2.2s, the axle, the axle shafts, and do, 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 do. That's it, yeah. so far. So at least I looks like a good day. Now, this, oh wait, one more. This is a metal drive coupling for Trail Finder 2. I'll probably hold on to that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll put it out there on Facebook first. If nobody wants it, then I'll just keep it. Now, this thing is what I'm happy with. But, okay, okay, lots of paper. This is the RC four wheel drive 2016. Oh, that's just there. <laughs> no, it's the address. It's the tight fit truck topper designed for the Mojave and Hilux bodies. Nice. I am going to keep this though. Because I've got an aluminium canopy I'm making for the Amarok. And maybe I just switch it out with this. A little bit of modding here and there. And it should fit like a dream. I say should, eh? Screws to put it all together, windows to put it all together, more screws and some the sides. Will people stop messaging me? And then this is the body, this is the, the canopy. This actually looks quite nice. Paint it up in colour, get it sorted out. So yeah, nice, hard body. Okay, so all in all, I think it was okay. So far the only thing I can't use, or that I'm not going to be using, are the 2.2s. So, these are going to go into Facebook to see if anybody has a use for them. Maybe I can sell them over there. I'm not going to sell them on eBay, because I'm not going to go through that whole mission of shipping. Um, then I'll check the groups if somebody needs a straight axle shaft for the K40, the K44 heavy duty straight axle shaft. Um, 
Well, I'll do some research. I'll see which truck this actually fits onto. If it's for anything else that I want to buy in future, because I'm not sure, then maybe I'll just keep it. But try everything else I'm definitely going to use. Nice. This is going to be nice. That's going to This I like, because it comes with the little sticker sets and everything. And I've already got a winch controller, so I'll just I'll make a plan over there. It's actually got a nice little winch hook on it already. I'll take this one off, put on the other one, and take this one off, put this one on here. Okay, cool, so that's it. Um, yeah, like I said in the, in the other video at the beginning, uh, if you're going to do this from South Africa, make sure you request that you go through DHL. Don't do the option where you just click the $25 and then you hope that they send it to the right place. Um, because it went through EMS in South Africa, it, it just it took forever to get here and that we're still paying for the express shipping so if you're from south africa you want to get these things it's it's a bit pricey like i said it's 250 dollars for the box 25 dollars for shipping another so what's that 275 so i call it another 30 dollars another 25 dollars for my customs tax that i had to pay and that was after these guys valued the box at 150. so if the value of the box is high you pay more customs tax um, but yeah, so it's nice. I like it. Thanks. How's it, guys? Justin here. Um, okay, good news. I got my RC four wheel drive uh, 2016 December Mystery Box 2. Um, it's the $250 box. Uh, estimated contents are like $400 or something like that, it's supposed to be. Um, okay. I'm going to have two parts of the video, uh, I'm going to do the unboxing side of it and then at the end of the video I'm going to, I might do like a, I don't want to say a rant, um, more uh, advice to other South African guys, especially like down in Durban side that want to, um, you know, get these boxes in future and um, just the, just my experience with it now, I mean I ordered it on the 1st, it arrived now the 20th. And I had to go fetch it from the, the main depot in town. Um, or else the couriers were going to take another two days to get it to me. So it's, and, and I paid the $25 shipping, the real express shipping. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that at the end of the video. Um, for now, we are waiting for Selena to finish work. Um, then we can go home and I can unbox this. Because believe me, I've got my knife. It's, it's here. It's here. It's with me. Um, it's, it's ready. All I want to do is just... And then find out what I have, but I'm not allowed to do that yet. She said I have to wait until I get home before I can open my toys and play with them. Um, just a, a, a quick fact before we start, I know the box is supposed to be valued at $400 contents. I worked it out, I need at least $300 worth of contents inside it to make it worth my while. Uh, $310, because that's the total value that I've paid. For the package the shipping including the, cu the customs um, tax in south africa so my whole total over here is 310 dollars so i need at least that amount of stuff out of there then i know I'm, i've done a good deal if i don't well you know then it's it's me down but maybe on the next box i'll get a bigger package bigger package haha <laughs> um okay yeah so i'll see you guys as soon as i get home and i'm pausing now okay back home now uh, it might be a bit of a fuck up with the mic because I'm doing this from my phone. I don't know where the tripod is, so Celine's gonna hold the camera over there. Um, okay, like I said, I need $310 worth of value. Wait, wait a second. See, some people say pull the knife towards you, other people say no, 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 you keep the knife away from you. If you can get the knife in. So. Either way, if you've got a sharp knife, it doesn't make much of a difference, eh? Okay, let's do this. Uh, one more thing, uh, shout out to Cameron, Cameron was his name who actually found me on Facebook and we were talking about the Tamiya Amarox and then he copied a link in the Facebook chat to one of my videos. So big up to you Cameron. Thank you mate. 
Uh, okay, first off, we've got some high quality paper. Um, it, it's, it's really good.
that's quite nice. Okay, definitely gonna keep that.
just put it all together. Screws and sides. Will people stop messaging me? And then this is the body. This is the mechanopy. Yes. 